Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change your Microsoft Edge file download options. So if you don't do anything with the settings and you download a file, it's just going to start downloading it and it's going to put it in your downloads folder and you're not going to have any control of it. So let's do a little example here. So we're going to download this uh, WinSCP, which is an FTP kind of client that you could uh, download for free. It's actually pretty cool software. So if we click on the download here, watch up at the top here. So you brought up the menu and it automatically downloaded it to that folder. You could open the file or you could open the uh, folder from here, assuming you don't click off it, because once you click off it, it's gone there. And that shows you it downloaded it right there. So if, if that's you know fine by you and you want everything to go to your downloads folder, you could keep it as is. But if you like to have some control over it, let's say you're downloading something and you want it to go to documents or your desktop, and you might want to change it up each time, you could actually change these options as well as some other settings. So to do that, let's we go to the Windows uh, or Microsoft Edge settings. So if you don't know how to get there, you could just go to the uh, ellipsis here and then go down to settings. And then you want to go to the download section here. And so here's the default location. So if you don't like the uh, downloads folder, you could click on change here, pick a new folder. Let's say you want it to be your desktop. And now every time you download it, it's going to go right to your desktop. And if you want to add a little extra step there, you could uh, have it ask you each time you download it. So if you turn this on, so now it's going to ask you where you want it to go. So if you don't want it to go to the default location, you could pick a new location. So let's uh, try this again here. Okay, so now it's asking us, what do you want to do? Do you want to open it, which will download it to your default folder and then open the file? Or you could do a save as or a save. So if we pick save as, so we have, oh, we did it twice there. It'll go to your default location, which is now desktop, but you could pick, you know, anywhere else you want to put it. And that way you have more control over where it downloads. So it'll prompt you each time. So that's another option if you turn on this uh, slider here to ask me what to do for each download. So I like to do that because I like to download files to different places and make sure I know where it's going. Otherwise, you know, you might forget where you downloaded it and have to go find it later. Or if you don't remember where your default location is, you'll have to go search for it. Then we have a, another option here for open Office files in the browser. So if you open like a, you know, online Word document or Excel file, let me show you what it does here. So let's pick this uh, sample file here. So it's downloading the file. And so Edge opened up the file within the browser. It does give you an option to download it, but it automatically opened the file by default. So if you just want to download uh, Office files rather than view them in the browser, you could turn this off. And so we'll go back here, try it again. So now it's just asking us, you know, to save it. It's not going to open the file. It's just saying, well, you could pick open, but it's giving us the option to save it instead rather than just opening it by default. And if you don't want to do it, you just click off of there. And then finally, we have the show downloads menu when the download starts. That was a little menu up here. So if we turn this off, let's turn this back on. Let's, let's get this, let's put this back to default here. And then we'll just uh, turn this off and see what happens when we go back to this WinSCP again. So now we didn't get any uh, prompt there, so we don't know if the file was downloaded or not. We could, of course, we could click on this little guy here, and we could see that it was downloaded, and we should have it on our desktop since it was downloaded there, but we didn't get prompted, so I don't see any real reason to turn this off because you're not going to really know if your file downloaded or not. So now if we turn it back on, go back here, click on download again, and of course we didn't get the uh, save as option because... I turn this back off again to the default. So once again, again go into your settings, into downloads. Here, change your default location. If you don't like the downloads folder, which is the default, turn this on. If you want it to ask you every time it downloads where you want to save it or if you want to directly open it. And then for uh, Office files, Word, Word and Excel and PowerPoint, online Office files, when you download them, you could have them open in the browser or you could turn this off. So you just save them to your computer first. 
and then of course the one for show the download option here for download menu which pops up here which like I said there's no real reason to turn that off because otherwise you're not going to know that your file downloaded so you know pretty simple only four main options here so once you kind of tweak these the way you like it you'll be able to download your files and be able to find where they went all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe Thank <phone> you. <rings>